Yes, Sersky. <laughs> it's your boy Twan the Dawn, and I'm back with another Jag Weezy Vidi Easy <laughs> for the ladies and the geezies. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Now look. <laughs> you know, we're going to start it with the tea time for me time, pretty please time, and that moment of silence for the people who are doing down bad today. Yes, sir. Ski. Now that's that ginger turmeric herbal tea right there, y'all. Intimate. Yeah, that ginger turmeric turmeric herbal tea. You feel me? It's busting too. You know, intimate. I love that hot tea. I like that. Stuff. Intimate. I like that. You feel me? But look, this video is gonna be on the six Jaguar players who I think will have a good game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. And you know I got my note peasy with the notes, my guy. Now look, my daughter gonna tell me, why you write the notes down, daddy? <laughs> I said, because it's like, it helps me with my talking points and whoop whoop She said, mm, still don't get it. But you be remembering all this stuff, I still don't get it. I was like, thank you, baby girl, but I really don't. But I appreciate that. That's my little one. I love her to death. You know what I'm I do anything for my little one. But anyways... We're going to bust it down like this. We're going to start with the defense. And I ain't got no order, no nothing, no particular, none of that, none to that. But we're just going to bust it down. You feel me? I love tea, y'all. I love tea. I like coffee, too, but I love tea. Peep game. <clears throat> honorable mention. First off, you know, I'm going to bust it with the honorable mention, right? Defense, Devin Lloyd. You feel me? Why? You Why you don't think he'll be one of the top three? Because... I believe that they're going to super, super game plan for Devin Lloyd because he won AFC Rookie of the Month. He's been balling out outrageous. Looks like a top. He looks like he should have been a top five uh, player picked this draft. I'm just saying. Looks like a top five player. Like he should have went above somebody, some of these folks. But anyways, he really got the eyes and the attention of these other Coaches, these other organizations, these other teams. So I think that if he does have a great game, I'm talking about Devin Lloyd, then we struck gold, okay? Because I do believe they're going to be game planning for him a little bit better. The Philadelphia Eagles will be. So if he does have a good game, we struck gold with Devin Lloyd, okay? But we already did a really good job. I really think that we did a great job trading up to get that pick and pick him. You know what I'm talking about? But the first player... On the defense, okay? Let me give y'all three defense, three offense. The first player is Tyson Campbell. Why you say Tyson Campbell? Because peep game, y'all. I'm not going to put all his stats out there. But he's going into this game locked in like he did against the Chargers, okay? Now, I promise you, uh, O'Shea, the... Um, uh uh dang I forgot his name. I got it on the, I got it on these notes over here though, y'all know that's why I keep my notes. You feel me right there. But <clears throat> the cornerbacks coach, okay? Yeah, Deshay Townsend, okay? The Desha Deshay Townsend, I promise you that he's telling Tyson Campbell what I'm about to tell you, okay? Like I said, never mind his stats. He's going into this game locked in like he was with the Chargers. Now, sometimes that's a little too locked in because he plays the, the receiver. He locks him down. He straps him down there. He's right there with him. And to be honest, that hurt him two times this year already, okay? In three games, it's hurt him two times, which hurt us two times. Listen, and I watch the game, so I'll be knowing. He does a phenomenal job locking his receivers down, okay? Coverage, speed, his recovery speed, his press, all of it, it's, 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 it's above average great it's good to great all of it right except this he never he he sometimes zones zones out zones out guarding them and never looks for the ball and that cost us in week one uh, Jahan Dotson the rookie got a touchdown on him and then last week Mike Williams got a touchdown on him because he never looked back for the ball and if he did look back both of those were intercepted okay both of those were intercepted he's supposed to have Two more interceptions this year, right now. 
than he does. He's supposed to have two more than he does, okay? Now listen, let's go to this, right? When you when you are that that guy that has uh, grace and you you enjoy and you have passion for your job, you know, you're gonna make sure that if you make a mistake or it's easier to do something, you're gonna do it. So what I mean for that is from A to Z to get from A to Z right quick, from A to Z for y'all, so y'all just cut out the middle thing. For him to show that he's a phenomenal DB in the NFL, he's going to work on that. I got to make sure I look for the ball because what do you have to do to be known as a great DB in the game? Lock down receivers and get a lot of interceptions, and he wants to do that. Now, let's move on to the next guy, and I do believe he will do that. That is, and if you watched my last video, you know who the next two dudes are. That's if you watched them. Now, Pete Game. That is Trayvon Walker, okay? Now, listen. First off, as a competitor, seeing Devin Lloyd on your team win Rookie of the Month, okay? And then seeing that he's just been balling outrageous above what people thought he would do, that sparks something more in you. Like, I got to show them that I'm that dude, too. That they struck gold with me, too. That the number one pick is right here, too. You feel me? Now... That is going to be more so for the fans and for the organization, more so for the league, okay? That's going to be to show us as far as fans and to show the organization that, look, I'm your guy, okay? Now, look, as of now, he's played a lot, okay, a lot of the snaps, and he's never played no less than 80% uh, 80 of the snaps, okay? And he has gotten a lot of QB pressures, okay? But he only has two QB hits which are potential sacks in my book, okay? Now, peep game. QB pressures, to me, are potential QB errors in my book, okay? Now, peep game. I believe he has one or more sacks, maybe an interception, maybe a fumble. Now, peep game, okay? The next player, if you watch my other video, you know. And I'm kind of going a little fast because my thing thing dying, but peep game, okay? That's Josh, <laughs> Allen, huh, that's Josh huh, Allen. Huh, what a real Josh Allen. Please stand up. Huh, please stand up. Yeah, Josh Allen. Peep game, okay? He has two sacks, okay? And by the way, Trayvon, he only has one sack right now. He wants to bump it up. I believe he's going to have an Aiden Hutchinson type of game that he had in the second week. I think he'll have three or more sacks. I hope he does, at least, like I said. But anyways, Josh Allen, he has two sacks, seven QB hits, Two forced fumbles and a pass deflection, okay? And by the way, Trayvon got that interception as well. You feel me? So, huh, I can't be so mad or, you know, he's doing phenomenal right now. You know, it's only week four. He going to step it up. And as of right now, he's projected to have, I think it is 5.6 uh, sacks, but six interceptions. Now, do y'all think that's a great year for uh, DE or no? Y'all let me know in the comments. Five and a half sacks. Let's just say five and a half. Let's just say six sacks and six interceptions. Is that a good year for Trayvon? Y'all let me know. But look, I do believe that Josh Allen has one or more sacks this game, too. I think he does does like he did in week two. He goes off and has, what, two sacks, two forced fumbles. He does his thug thizzle in that game. And I think he didn't have both the forced fumbles in that game. But anyways, I don't remember. But anyways, I believe that, like I said, he has a good game. Two sacks. I'm not trying to even do the sack thing. I'm just saying they both have one or more. You know what I'm saying? I like to do it like that. When I do my predictions, I like to do the predictions and just say the real one. But they have—they both have one or more sacks. Mm. And and one of them has an interception or a fumble. Force, yeah, or first fumble, blah, or a forced fumble. You feel me? Now, peep game. Let's move it over to the offensive side, okay? The honorary man, John. That's going to go to Zay Jones off monkey. Now, look, the reason it's going to go to Zay Jones is if y'all been watching, if you're a true fan of the Jaguars, you know as well as I know that it looked like Trevor Lawrence and Zay Jones had a better connection than anybody on the team in preseason. OK, but when the regular season started, we didn't really see that. It looked like he had a super connection with Christian Kirk which is good because he's our number one. It was great for us because Christian Kirk is our number one. It was phenomenal for us 
because Christian Kirk is our number one. But we didn't see what we saw in preseason with him and Zay Jones at first, it seemed like. Am I correct? I mean, if you've been watching it, you know that this is to be said. What I'm saying is true. But last week against the Chargers, he showed and it showed to us we saw that connection that they had in the preseason, all at like what we saw it there, you know? And what Zay Jones have? Uh, 10, 10 receptions on 11 targets, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, touchdowns, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he went off. He went off. I preach, you know, Zay Jones did his thing. He did his thing. You know what I'm saying? I think he had a touchdown. Yeah, I see. I'm see. I'm sitting here trying to remember the stuff from last week because, and mind you, I know this stuff, but I'm worried about this. What I got wrote down. But peak game, okay. The first player, and if you've been listening just now, you know who the first player is on offense. Who I believe that's gonna have a good game. <laughs> that's Christian Kirk. Let's just go ahead and say it, okay. Now, my bold, my prediction on that. I think he has over 100 yards with a touchdown or two. He has a big 40-yard more or more catch, so it makes it a little easier for him to get the 100 yards or more. That's how he gets it. But, yeah, I believe Christian Kirk continues to keep showing and proving to the world, to the NFL, that he is a true number one. And I believe he's ranked number six or seven now. Seven now, something six or seven now as far as wide receivers in the NFL, he's ranked up there. I don't know about y'all, but I'm loving that. Now, peep game, okay? The next guy, okay? Oh, I also believe he has eight, eight or more receptions. Peep game. The next guy, he's the only guy not named Trevor Lawrence to score every game of the season so far. Yeah, I'm talking about James huh, um, Bag huh, Robinson, okay? Peep game. He'll have 75 plus yards rushing, okay? One or more touchdowns. That'll either come be that'll that may either be two rushing touchdowns. That may be a receiving touchdown and a rushing touchdown. That may just be a rushing touchdown. That may just be a receiving touchdown. But he's gonna have one or more touchdowns in my eyes, okay? And I think he'll have 75 plus rushing yards and a few yards receiving as well. Okay? Because like I said, Trevor Lawrence, if you've been watching, Trevor Lawrence, he takes what the defense gives him. That's what the coaches the quarterback coach and the passing game coordinator have been telling them and putting pinging in his head, take what they give you. Because then they'll give you more than, than they want without knowing it. Okay? And the next guy, okay, the last guy huh, on offense that I think will have a big game. Huh, okay, I told you, Christian Kirk. I told you, James Robinson. Huh, who? James huh, um, Bag huh, Robinson. Huh, the last guy is his counterpart. Yeah, I'm talking about Travis. Huh. ETN. Now, now look, last game. I said last week, I believe this is his breakout week. He'll have a big game for the first week. He had a decent game, low key, okay? He had 75 total yards. <sighs> Excuse me, okay? This week, I believe he surpasses 100 yards this week. Now, mind you, we're using him as a Swiss Army knife. We're not using him as just a clear running back, okay? To be honest, James Robinson is a much better runner than Travis Etienne. Like if James Robinson had Travis Etienne's skill set, James Robinson would be an animal. Like we, it would be crazy because of the running, his running is better. I just, it's just better. He picks the hole and goes. He just knows the hole, when to go, all that stuff. Okay. Travis Etienne, it'll come to him. Okay. But I believe this week is the week it does come and it does show that flash of superstar that we drafted in Travis Etienne. I believe that he surpasses 100 yards. OK. And like I say, that'll either be 75 yards rushing, 25 catching. That may be 100 yards plus rushing. OK, that may be 85 receiving and then the really little 30 rushing. You know, it's going to happen. OK, he's going to have over 100 yards. OK, now look, the reason I think that they'll have these big game and that we're going to beat the Philadelphia Eagles is not because uh we got to show the world that we're the best, that we're not the old Jags no more. Because we know we're not now. We dominated the Chargers last week. No matter what nobody says to us, we know who we really can be, how we really can play. Whenever we have a bad game, Doug Peterson is going to throw on that tape and show them, this is who y'all really are. And that's what we're going to see. He's going to put on that tape with the Colts. 
this is who y'all really are and will remind us. So I'm not really, we're not worried about showing the world. The reason we're going to dominate, I'm not even going to say dominate. The reason we're going to beat the Eagles is because we're going to do it for Doug Peterson. The guy that got us where we're at so far. The guy that got us this, this optimism, this optimism, this, this, this guy that gave hope back to the fans that became hopeless. <laughs> we seen we seen Doug and he gained hope to the faithless. We up now talking up there with the aliens and the spaceships. We was down low talking down bad with the flowers and the vases. Yeah, that's Twana Don right there. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, he gave us hope again. Okay? That's who the Jaguar players are gonna do this for. Okay? And I can't wait to see the, the footage of the game ball going to him when we win. You feel me? <laughs> but you know me. Huh. I ain't going to ask you. Hold up. I ain't going to ask you. I ain't going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You know what I I'm not going to ask you to like the video. You feel me? Y'all know what I like to ask, though. I will ask you to comment in the comment section. Let me know if you rock with me. Let me know if you rock with how I'm doing these Jaguar videos. Let me know if you rock with the Jaguars. Let me know if it's some. Let me know who y'all favorite player is on offense and on defense. If y'all been watching all the way to this, somebody comment right now and let me know who your favorite player is on offense and on defense as of right now. Okay, I'll tell you mine, Christian Kirk. Okay, uh, I can't. I can't even. I can't even see. That's my favorite receiver. James Robinson always gonna be my favorite player until we don't have him. If we don't have him, and then Christian Kirk. Okay, I'm gonna just do them two. Defense, Trayvon. I'm loving Trayvon Steele. I don't care what y'all say. I'm, I'm rocking with Trayvon Steele. You know what I'm talking about? And Josh Allen. You feel me? But anyways, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if it's something you want me to do a video on pertaining to the Jaguars. Something that might be dope to do a video on. Dylan O'Shea, I rocks with you the long way, bro. Because you've been rocking with your boy. And you give me great ideas, bro. I rocks with you. I think it would be dope for me to get you on the show one time. And it was another gentleman. I don't even know if he's still rocking with your boy. I know he is. I know he is. I'm just joking with you. I know you're still rocking with me, bro. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, I got to get y'all on the show one good time. On the little talk, the talk show. You hear me? But yeah, I leave y'all the same way. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I leave y'all the same way with the three. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, 